How many of you forgot that you were subscribed to me? Because I know I sure did. I, I forgot about this channel entirely. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no need to beat around the bush or do any of that. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to cover this ban list that just got revealed. And so, um... The biggest and most important thing to realize is that uh, Konami doesn't care about the game and that they will always be greedy, mongry, what? Mongry, money hungry people when it comes to Yu Gi Oh! So, never expect anything too big to come from the ban list. And then it's so funny because we just got an OCG ban list right after we saw this one. Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and it's like 10 times better than the OCG ban list. So I would say just ne ne never expect anything special from TCG Konami because special isn't what TCG Konami does. TCG Konami does stupid. Light it up the world with a little more. Hello one, hello all. I know most of you probably forgot you were subscribed to me, but I'm back. Kinda. Actually, I don't know yet. Not really. But uh, I do have another channel called Sir Nistro. I'm currently working on uh, other videos there. And uh, with, in terms of this channel, I don't know where this channel is going. But there is quite a bit of news to cover today. So we're definitely going to get straight into it. All right, guys. So I guess it's time to talk about another ban list. And so first off, we have uh, Samsara Lotus, which I honestly don't know what the hell that is uh who are you I, I i didn't even spell it correctly okay um let's look at the uh official effect here so during your end phase if you control no spell trap cards you can special in this card from your graveyard in face up attack position this card's controller takes a thousand damage during each of their standby phases uh, I guess it's cause, I don't know, some type of burn lock deck, um, I don't know, you like, lock out all their zones or something, I don't know, it's some, some high speed OCG combo that, uh, I have no idea what the actual, uh, combo is yet, so, yeah, so Nightmare Goblin, because generic double summon in your extra deck is bad enough to get banned, uh, Invoker, because, uh, generic bringing out a level 4 warrior or beast warrior from your deck is uh, apparently too broken. And then uh, we got a Assault Core for limited, which means that if you played ABCs, you, you can't you can't play for little toys anymore. I'm, I'm sorry. You can't play for toys anymore. But what you can play with, what you can play with, you can play with your Elemental Hero Stratos. The... Um, it's kind of like Konami took took your toys away, but then gave you, like, action figures. So they're like, you're a man now. Men play with action figures. Kids play with toys. So they so that, that that's what that's what Big Daddy Konami did. They took away your uh, your little ABCs, 1, 2, 3s, and they gave you uh, Big Dick Stratus over here. And uh, honestly, I, I, I feel like Stratos is just like... Uh, he, he, he was more like a martyr than he was a, an actual, like, I get it, Stratos is a good card, but, like, heroes have evolved in a way, especially around where max he masked heroes are, they, they've they evolved in a way that they really don't even need Stratos, or they, they didn't need Stratos. Stratos would have been helpful, but they didn't need Stratos anymore, you know? And even having him at one, you know, everybody's so excited to, just for, just to have Stratos back, and, you know, I think Stratos is more of, like, a... A face than it is a card. It's like it's it's just imagine summoning Stratos in 2018 and then it getting Ash Blossomed. Like okay, what's next? <laughs> like yeah, I get it. You know you have we have way more hero monsters now. We have stuff like Mass Change so that if you uh, Ash Blossom me, your Ash Blossom won't really go through. Um, but it's it, it's it's like a whole different uh, field now. So 
we'll we'll see how much of a difference Stratos actually makes. But it's it's nice that it's back. Uh, morphing Jar because apparently uh, Empty Jar. Uh, Konami wants Empty Jar to come back. Konami wants uh, Danger to be a thing. Um, Konami wants, uh, I, I wouldn't say BA, but, uh, there's also card destruction down here. So I guess they want BA to continue going strong, even though, I, I don't know why, like, are, are, like, do they just not want to, like, kill BA, or do, is, is it like, do they have some type of, like, uh, crush for it? Do they, like, does BA have some type of favor? Like, does, does, like, Dante pay them a little extra on his side to stop BAs from becoming fully dead? But... I don't know. BA, like, whoever invested in BA and kept their deck, man, that, that is some real value right there. Uh, so, Electromite. Uh, I, honestly, the only Pendulum deck I play is uh, Ignite, and uh, Ignite has already died. And the version I play now only needs one uh, Electromite anyway, so I'm not really hurt too, too much by that. Uh, Omega. I, I only played one in the decks I played anyway. Like, who needs o Omega Loops, right? Who needs Omega Loops? Like, we still have Firewall Loops, because Firewall's still around. Firewall's still here, so... I don't really see the big deal. Exton Knight, well, uh, we no longer swarm... Not a lot of decks swarm anymore. It's like, except for really, like, Goki. But a, a lot of decks kind of just keep, like, one or two Link Monsters out, and then that's really it. Um as like a final board like extra link is really only for exiton and that's only if you get rid of the nightmare ibli uh, on your field so if you can summon out uh ignite i, I said ignite uh, exiton against a board of um extra link then you know go ahead <laughs> we can have a blast or let your opponent have that blast but uh if you can't then you know oh well like raigeki's raigeki's a thing dark hole's a thing kaiju's are a thing uh, I'm not saying that it's like this isn't a big deal, but it's just I don't know. The, the game has evolved, so we'll see. Somebody's calling me. Let's pause this for a second. Oh man. Oof. Oof. F12. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Now, um,. Yeah, as I was saying before about Exiton Knight, we'll, we'll honestly just have have to see how it goes. Um, it might not be the biggest deal, but because of, you know, the way the format is now, like, there isn't really a... Like, Goki is really the only deck that makes big boards, um, at least to my knowledge, to my limited knowledge of the game. Every, every other deck really only makes, like, th only really needs three to four cards on board to really do what they need to do. Um, a hero lives because... It can stay at three because uh, heroes. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't like Dark Law as as much as the next guy, so I, I really don't mind. Um, Hornet drones, but no engage getting hit. I feel like engage is. Uh, I, I guess w without Hornet drones, the deck isn't really a big deal. Or Sky Strikers as a deck, like by themselves, aren't a big deal. So. But you know, engage is still at three. Like it's still gonna be really easy to, to to get this card out. So it's it's not even a big deal that Horner Jones got um got limited. Super Poly, I know for uh, Predator Plant and for Heroes, this this is a good card. So um, we'll have to see how this does. Uh, Dark Destroyer. I mean, I might consider making Cosmos, but I I don't think they'll honestly do anything. They're, like they're just gonna get fucking power crept by whatever is being played today in my opinion I, I i i don't think they they got it i don't think they do but they might who knows uh called by the grave being semi-limited I, I i don't see the point in this it's like so in, instead of i mean hand traps are like do, do, do you want hand traps to be prominent like i i, I don't i don't see the the real reason why they semi-limited this card. Like, okay, I get one extra slot in my deck. I'm still gonna play both of these. Um, if anything, you might have just made my deck a little more consistent by limiting it to two. Like, you're gonna see it some of the time, not all the time, but I didn't, I like, even when I played three, like, I didn't see this card, like, a lot of times. So it's, I don't know. I, I don't really see the point. Uh, lim 
limiter removal, I guess for Cosmos and Dynamis. Dynamis are a deck, okay, trust me. Dy Dynamis are a deck. They're not a play deck, but they're they're they're, they're still a deck, okay? So, um I don't know what Konami expected to I that's probably why it's getting semi limited cuz it's <laughs> what, what what machine decks are you going to play now? Freaking ABCs are pretty much done. Uh no more looping ABCs and um Dynamis are <laughs> freaking Dynamis. Uh scapegoat scapegoat uh I I I don't know what deck plays this besides Trick Stars. So Maybe Sky Striker? I, I don't know. Does, does, does Sky, Sky Striker play Scapegoat? I don't think they do, but I don't know. I haven't played that game that much in, in recent months anyway, so I wouldn't know. Terraforming the two, um, I don't see the big deal, honestly. Uh, what what deck uses their field spell? Oh yeah, Trick Stars. But that's, <laughs> that's not even a big deal. It's like, it really isn't. So, uh, Towers... Um, I, I hate this card with a passion, but, um, we do have Kaijus now. Do, 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 do Kaijus affect towers? Wait. I think? I, I, I think they do? I, I have no idea. If, if Kaijus can, can, can hit a towers, then towers is fine. If, Ka, if Kaijus can't hit a towers, then, you know, fuck that card. Uh, but Klee's have their, um, Klee's aren't really, uh, a big dick deck right now, so it's, it's not really a big deal that Towers is, is, is back out here. Uh, this commander, he, his errata is once per duel, I believe. It's once per duel, and it can't be the turn that he's sent to the graveyard. So you special summon him the turn after from the graveyard, and you get to draw two. That's why he's at three now, because it's once per duel, and it's a hard once per duel. I mean, okay. Uh, burial from different dimension. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, once Omega came out, there, 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 there was honestly no need for this card. There was honestly no need for this card once Omega came out. So, and the Ring of Destruction, um, it's more useless than it used to be. So, Errata's killed the card. So yeah, um, honestly. I, I don't know what to think about this ban list. I'm still gonna... I, I don't know if I'm gonna get back into the game, but uh, I feel like... Uh, I'm like I'm gonna see what that Nordic Link monster does, like uh, that one coming out in October, next month actually. And uh, also Thunder Dragons and uh, Crusadia and Noble Knight. Those are the decks I'm, I'm waiting on right now. I currently have a Crusadia core, which, you know, I'm I'm a little hurt by the Hornet Drones, but Hornet Drones isn't necessary. It's more of like, if you don't get the OTK, then you want a Hornet Drones to, like, like if you go second and, you're, and your opponent probably has something, I don't know, then Hornet Drones, like, just helps get those extra monsters on board um, because it's pretty much just two free monsters. Like, if you can activate one, then you can activate it twice, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, I think that's really it for now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make another video on this game again. Or on this channel again, honestly. Um, so, yeah, uh, Stratos is back. After so many years, I guess 2018 is the year of comebacks for, you know, first Eminem, now Stratos, like, who, who's going to be next? Uh, fucking Gateway goes back to three. That would be amazing. Personally, uh, I want to see, like, freaking Necros come back first. Second off, I want to see Maxi come back. Third, I want to see my boy Denglong come back. So that I could play my my Dino Zephyr deck again. Dino Dino Zephyr was was the best time I had with Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> I'm I'm not even gonna lie. It, it's like the most competitive deck I, I ever made because it's like guaranteed Denglong first turn. No, no matter what your hand was, it's like you always got a Denglong out, and then you just got like two or three negates. That's all you needed, and then you just played the game. And then as the turns went on, you could build a board. 
you know it's like like you start off with a line of defense and then from there you build a board uh, using your the small Zephyr pieces that you had which is why I enjoyed the deck so much Zephyr right now I mean I don't know how much they needed that second or third Electromite but um, I, I guess it's still good like it, the, the decks just always around it's it, like it, it's not really going anywhere like Electromite being being freaking limited like that's not a big deal to be com completely honest like there are tons of monsters we could play like Zephyrus can play almost any monster in their extra deck so um, Electromite being limited isn't really a big deal I don't know Synchrons as well Synchrons also I, I, I would love to see Hyper Librarian go up to 3 to support uh, the little Synchron uh, decks that have been going around lately thanks to the release of Junk Speeder more people have been looking into Synchron so yeah Yu-Gi-Oh 2018 as you can tell I'm 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 not very excited but it's it's just nice to see I don't know Konami doing something other than uh I mean it, it's still like this is all just marketing but it's it's is not as bad as previous balance this is one of the better balance that we've had at least I, I'm I'm not mad or surprised by anything coming back other than Stratos so um, yeah, that's really all. And oh yeah, and also, um, I I still get to sell all my ice holds for a high price. That's why I like this list. So this is your boy TCG Nisho here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace out. If there is a next one, actually, I I, I probably shouldn't say that because I don't know if there's gonna be a next one. Um, you know, life situations people things to do um in other news though uh they actually did confirm yugi is going to be a character in jump force although um if you've seen jump force before uh you know it's like a 3d fighting game it's going to play a little bit like dragon ball raging blast uh in the way it fights and um it's kind of like the spiritual successor to the not so uh well received j stars which was a fun game but uh, yeah, so if, if if he ends up being like a playable character and not just like a support only character, it, it's going to be pretty fun. And uh, I'll, I'll definitely uh, do a few uh, games with uh, with Yugi here. But, you know, 2019, Yu-Gi-Oh is evolving. Uh, we have holograms. We have, uh, I'm sure we're going to get dual, uh, dual discs sometime in the future. And now Yugi is in a big fighting game that's actually going to come out in the West. Because he, he's been in a fighting game before, it's just it was just Japanese only, so um Yeah, that's 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 really all I, I, I just wanted to say. Yugi's in a fighting game. For uh after it's it's I think it's been over ten years since that DS game come out uh came out, so yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh's Yu-Gi-Oh has a lot of clout, apparently. A lot of clout.